today we have unit 1 the selfish giant by oscar wilde of course the author's name is not written but this is one of the stories written by oscar wilde the before we begin the unit there is always a pre task now we find the pre task in this case is very meaningful and very much connected to the unit selfish giant in the pre task a person is called selfish when he returns love for love respect for respect smile for smile help for help and hate for hate and so he is never happy so only those people who love you you are going to love them who are respecting you only respect them you smile only at those who smile at you then it is selfish the second stanza has shown the happy condition when love is returned for hate when respect is shown to those who don't show respect to you and love to all the strangers as well loving your brother sister and friend is one thing but to unknown person is what is bringing happiness the poem in the preface is a forerunner what you call it a preface for the story of selfish giant the story runs something like this now here we begin with the story every afternoon while returning from school the children used to play in the giant's garden as he was not there in the castle castle is actually palace the hindi word is mahal i think even in gujarati you say mahal the entire garden used to come to life when the children played entire meaning whole fully when the children played and enjoyed themselves now how was the garden coming to life because the flowers birds trees bearing fruits were all signs of happiness so you could see the flowers blooming you could hear the birds singing you could see the tree bearing fruits so all these are signs of happiness you can see some of the difficult words below the picture stanza is a verse this is when mainly used in the poetry like in the paragraph writing you have you say para for the prose part and in the poetry you say stanza or a verse strangers are unknown people castle is palace and entire means whole or fully